In this episode of the Ride On Mower Conversion Project, we are going to get this thing humming. More Check power! Check it out next on Now You Know. <laughs> All right, so Mr. G, in yeah. the last episode, uh, we were using this guy to power our lawn mower ride on mower conversion and this is look at this we got the motor all hooked up mm -hmm. it's turning the wheels and everything mm -hmm. um, this adapter plate worked out everything and, worked and, out really well and you guys came up with some great ideas with this uh, coupler, coupler what yeah a, a non i don't even know how to call it it's so <laughs> cool so all right so last time we did this and it worked it just wasn't very powerful right now on our last lawn mower we used this switch and that's what turned on the blade and so yep. we just click it and we release it click release click release yeah and what would be the issue with hooking up our motor using a switch like this okay so it's like an on off switch and a dead man switch so but the on part is it sends all of the potential of the battery like the way you flick on a light switch okay and so what's the problem with that that would be like getting in your car and flooring it or not flooring it. There's just no in between, and that's not realistic. That's how I always drive my car. Oh, yeah, me too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so the lawnmower, if you notice, whenever it got bogged down or, or whenever we turned it on and there was a lot of brush and leaves, you'd notice that th we were recording amps. We spiked up to about 23 amps one time. It's probably even more than that, maybe 25 or 30. And what happens is that can blow fuses, but also uh, it's unnecessary. You want a ramp up. Uh, for something that's not constant. Plus, you don't want to always go 100% or zero. I see. So when I do this, the amps immediately spike because it wants to be at a certain RPM because it is getting a certain voltage. Right. And it's almost like, you know, you go to the gym and you lift weights and this and that, mm -hmm. but you're not lifting all the weights at once. Okay. You ramp it up. So, I mean, a good analogy for this would be um, opening some kind of like water main just instantly from a giant water tower yeah. with a lot of power, uh, it would just. Yep. How'd it go? <laughs> you don't really want that when you're riding a, a ride on mower because we don't even have a seat back on this thing. Yeah, so you I just mean, you just fall you just fall right off. If it, yeah, I mean if you're using the water tower analogy, instead of having a faucet where you can slowly a open faucet. Yes. Oh. There you go. And so we kind of had a faucet with this thing. Yeah, that can you can t dial up the voltage, and voltage is equated with speed. Okay, but we weren't able to go very fast, or in some cases, not even be able to actually power itself. That's because we didn't have enough amps. This is limited to ten. And so, well, what are the limits of, the, oh, here are the limits. So it's 30 volts, 10 amps. And as we learned in our lawnmower conversion episode, amps times volts gets you watts. watts. So this what? can do a maximum of 300 <laughs> watts. But yeah. we weren't actually able to get the voltage high enough. What's up with that? The reason why is when you don't have enough uh, uh, amps, even if you want higher voltage, you could have the voltage turned all the way up and the amps turned all the way up, and this only goes to 10, mm -hmm. but there's only so many amps that could push it. Basically, amps are like torque. So if it can't push you up the hill, which we found, that then what's gonna happen is it'll be slower, which then it would, have, it would take less volts. We saw it around 10 volts. Even though we had it turned way up, yeah. we had 10 volts and we had 10 amps, which is the max. And that's 100 we, watts. That's just 100 and, watts. And so that's not enough power, but we also don't wanna have a big old switch so what's the in-between? Okay, so there's a couple things. First of all, the tower we're gonna use is a lot bigger. So in this case, <laughs> yeah. we're gonna be using Jehu's battery pack. And this how is a many, whole ammo can. Yeah, how many? How much power is that? This is like one kilowatt hour in here. Yeah, there's a lot of power. In and there. so I believe this is 14S6P. Yeah. So that the 14S, that's 14 times 3.7. So we're talking a little bit more than uh, yeah. 48 volts. Right. And this is a 48 volt motor, mm -hmm. but that, that will work. And then the 6P, we're, yeah. we're talking maybe two-ish amps per P. So that's... It could be more depending on the batteries they use. That's a good point so as well. So it could be up to like 3.5 amp hours per battery. Oh, right. So mm -hmm. that would be 3.5 amps times 
six. So that would be like 22 amps at one C. Whoa. And we might be able to push these to two C. And you definitely could push them to two C. And that Not would all be, the time. And that would be like 40 amps. Yeah, that would be wild. Okay. Oh my gosh. So we've got a big enough tower. We got a, we got a, yeah, we got a really big tower. And so what we, and we could have a really, do. And really tall, so the voltage is high. Yeah. And then we, but also, now you're talking about the, the, the faucet. The faucet. Let's so, talk about the faucet. So we could, if we wanted to, we could hook this up, right? And mm -hmm. I could go click. Yeah. And it would go, yeah. there's no faucet. I can't go. Yeah. Well, it only if clicks. it doesn't break, you're going to do a wheelie off the back <laughs> of this thing. Yeah. And then it'll <laughs> land on me and I'll get crushed. Yeah. <laughs> so we don't want that. We do want a faucet. And this worked as our faucet, but it was too small. It was like a little. Too small beep, faucet. Beep, 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 yeah. We want something where I can get it up to but only when I'm going 40, 50 miles an hour. Right. Because exactly. I'm definitely going to go that fast on this thing. So talk to me about this. What is this? All right. So this looks like dinky. Like for me, this looks like garbage. You know, it's like. Right. You know. I mean, you just pull that. That's <laughs> Like that's, it literally looks like garbage. That's stuff. You know, but, like when I break something and, I, and yeah. then I take it apart and I'm like, well, that's something. You know. That's stuff. 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 But so what is it actually? Well. I don't know exactly what's in here, but I do know the function is it's a pulse width modulator. It's a DC conversion. So what it's doing is you take one side, the red and black wires. This is going to go to the, to the battery. Okay. Then this is just a forward or reverse switch. And then this is going to go to the motor. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then in between is going to be this little uh, potentiometer, which tells you just positioning. So it tells you, oh, if you're 50% there, I want 50% of the voltage of that battery. If I'm 100%, I want 100% of the voltage of the battery. Okay. So this is our faucet. It's actually pretty wide range. Mm -hmm. It'll go from DC 9 volts to 60 volts. And then also, it's up to 20 amps. Okay. So we remember when we were talking about the battery, we were saying that we might be able to pull like 40 amps out of it or something. This is going to be limiting us, kind of like this was limiting us. Right. But we're gonna have a much higher amperage and a much higher voltage. So this should be able to give us 10 times the power yeah. through it yeah. than this. It's like 10 times, so. That's awesome. Yeah, so whatever you had before, you couldn't go up the hill, but you could go down the hill. It did work on flat, mm -hmm. it, it was kind of slow. So now imagine it's gonna be 10, 10 times, times what we had powerful. before, yeah. Awesome, yeah. let's do it. Don't be wrong though, this, it's unclear how protected this is. Okay. So we do have to put a 20 amp fuse in between. If we blow that, we could go to 25, but you gotta think, it's trying to get rid of the heat or it's trying to protect itself. I don't know how protected it is. Okay. So I don't know this company, I just ordered it off of Amazon. All right, well, let's right. try it out. Okay. Get a 20 amp fuse if you can. It's just arcing. Yeah. It's so now what? I'm gonna turn it on. Okay. All right, ready? It's on. Ready? Oh, hell yeah! Oh, it works! Yeah. All right, let's drive it. <laughs> ready? Oh, yeah, turn it down, turn it down. It's down! It's off! Wow. Yo. That's power right there. Yep. All right, we are ready. I'm gonna put it in gear. Yeah. We're down, I don't know, well actually, I'm not gonna put it in gear yet. I need to see which way this turns. Oh my God. That's the correct way, okay. Put it in gear. Oh! He's going. I'm, yeah. I'm like barely doing anything. Impressions so far? Oh my god, dude, this Fast? is awesome. Yeah. Were you all the way? No. How many amps you doing? Let's look. 
I'm doing five. Five amps? Okay. Five that's, amps, 40 that's volts. Oh, yeah. 40 volts. Electric baby. Three amps. Nothing. I'm 40, 40 volts? 40 volts. Oh, that's like nothing. I know. Wow. And right now I'm doing eight. Now you wish you had brakes. Right? <laughs> oh. Whoa. Whoa. What was that? What'd you do? I don't know. Did you hit it? You might have hit it. Hit what? Like when you're turning, maybe you hit the knob. I didn't do that. Go. Is it still working? Nope. <laughs> it like jolted? Something happened. I, I think it was that when I'm turning, it takes a lot more amps. That's okay, but. And also I was increasing it while I still had turn. So let's explain what happened. So the fuse protected the controller. Hopefully. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll I'll see. get a fuse. Okay, so you can see the fuse blew there. Aside from the fuse blowing. I'll bring the fuses over like I'm bringing we food. Made, we made an electric car. <laughs> All right, let's get another 20 in there. There you go, I think the 20 is good. The 20 is good. Which one would you like? All right, so it's going to scare the crap out of me, right? Yeah, it's going to be fun. Do it! <laughs> Jesus, don't do that. So we're all set here. I'm yeah. in drive. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm down. Switch it on. Whoa! Oh. It did it again. Something. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. It blew it, and it was lurching me forward. I'm gonna spin it just for a second. Whoa! So it's not. This is malfunctioning. Yeah, it went to 60 volts. So the speed controller is not listening to the to the resistor any to the variable resistor any longer. So when it comes to fail safe, this is failing op uh, closed, which is the worst, worst way to fail. That's bad. Really bad. If wow. we didn't have the fuse in there, you would have gone for a ride. I mean, yeah, and I felt it jolt See, me that's before why I the- remember I said, you gotta have another way to kill it. And that's why you saw me, mm -hmm. that's why it did that. It wasn't me doing anything with the knob. Right. So, so for some reason, it's in a failed close, which is, in someone's mind like opening the switch it's in a failed close which is on you know so if i hit go that was 99 volts it's giving it everything so we burnt the controller out but we but it's not safe so that was fun while it lasted yeah you're like a test pilot oh yeah the good news is we got it going we got it going yeah. pretty quick yeah um we it had a lot of power it moved. You had a smile at, at, on your face we when you were, were up there. Yeah. It worked. Like it just yeah. it just worked from the get go, and then it stopped working. What happened? So for some reason, the speed controller failed in the full throttle position. Yeah. Which, when you look at what's called a fail safe, you want to fail, uh, and you so you want to fail safely. So you failed to go forward, but you're safe, right? Whereas this case. It's failing in the closed position, so it's full throttle, really bad. And then because we didn't trust the controller, we put a fuse in, it blew the fuse, which saved you. Yeah, if, if it weren't for that, we would have either burnt out the motor, yeah, the batteries, or the you would have wire, had to manually. Something would have right. gone. That's why we need a kill switch in the car. Right. All right, well, we kind of ended with a bit of a bang. Not, yeah. not the good kind, unfortunately, but we have a 60 amp controller coming, one that we are definitely not going to be able to burn Whoa. out with this pack. Whoa. So that is going to be very exciting for next episode. We're going to be putting that in. We're going to be taking off, seeing how fast we can get this puppy going. I want to see you go faster. Okay. We're going to do that in the next episode here on Now, now You, you know. know.